Yo guys, what's up? It's Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video, and I am here to show you right now how to solo tame a giant squid on the new map, Valguero. Now the location that I am currently at, you have to go to the underground ocean. 3436 is where I am right now. Obviously you can see this guy's following me. This is where all of the larger stuff spawns, so you'll also notice down there... Dunkleosteus, Mosasaurus, uh, there's a couple of Plessis down beneath us as well. Now there are two ways to solo tame a giant squid. One, set up a trap, or two, which is usually the one people don't have access to, is using a Moza. Now I'll show you what I mean in just a second here. Now first and foremost we have to get rid of this guy from behind us, otherwise he'll catch you and you're in trouble. So, set up a trap. This is the easiest way. Now this, you basically need let me get rid of that mose in my inventory. All you need is a crab, uh, not a crab, a uh, carbonemus. Uh, it doesn't matter what level because you're just going to use them as bait. Basically, you'll need this stuff right here, these black pearls, because you're going to have to eventually, well, for the most part, hold them in place. And you'll need a trap stuff, which is going to be a hundred metal pillars, 20 ceilings, uh, a behemoth gate, I guess four technically, and then four behemoth gate ways if you want to call them that. So let's go ahead and set it up. Now the easiest thing to do is you're going to go ahead and build a square out of these. doesn't matter how perfect the square is. All you want to do is make sure they're locked together. That way that this thing cannot get out. Now you can enter orbital cam if it's easier for you. That way you can kind of see what you're doing. But it doesn't matter really how accurate you are because it will fit inside of this. So you just have to make sure it works. And boom there's that let's go ahead and set up the actual gates themselves one two and I'll speed through this next part because it takes a little bit of time so what you're gonna do essentially after this is you are going to build pillars up on each of the corners now the reason you're gonna build pillars up on the corners is very simple actually you are just going to use these to build a ceiling above you so it doesn't matter how accurate you are you just need to make sure you put them in the corners themselves and this is just so he can't escape from the top because you want to make this as simple as possible for yourself now there is no beds and stuff down here so you might want to have a secondary option I suppose you could say ready to go at the top just in case something happens so if some sort of tame to get back down to the bottom notice one and then you just go in another three just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and go down here as well make sure you're at the angle like you see I am at right now and when you do that, basically all you're doing is making sure you can place the ceilings out over the middle of this thing. Now, this is how I use it on my solo player and official. It's really not that hard. Make sure you're wearing a couple of masks and scuba and all that stuff because it's actually freezing down in the stone. So you just want to be careful about that kind of stuff. And make sure you're, they're somewhat close together so that way there's no like little areas that this squid can squeak out of. So let's go ahead and build this guy down here as well. There's that. We'll just go up with this. Come on, there it goes. Now, this is the first method. I'll show you the second one as well. They're both really easy, actually. It's not, everyone thinks that these are super hard to tame. It doesn't take very long. They're super quick tames. And as long as you know what you're doing, or at least you have an idea of what you're doing, they're really, really not hard at all. So, this is the last one right here. Let's put this guy down. Oop, there we go them up to the top assuming it'll let me go up to the top the one thing about swimming around in the water it kind of sucks because well this happens let's see if it works and a little bit higher is what we need to do all right so as you can see we've got a little bit of a, a lock it in place kind of thing going on here uh, from each corner we've got three. If you really wanted to, this is not required, but you could do this. Basically take these guys and move them a little bit closer. You'll see they snap into place pretty easily right there. Maybe. Come on, there it goes. Now you don't have to do this, but this way you can actually continue it in a little bit more. And obviously you can see that I'm out of stamina right now. A lot of people are terrified of losing stamina. Nothing really happens underneath the water if you lose stamina. You just can't like do the sprint technically. Alright, so this is the trap. As you can see, it's pretty easy to make. 
uh, just four gates. I would use metal, but that's me, because then you can use it in the future as well. Put a couple of foundations down if you can. That tends to help a lot. And then if you can, close this guy off in the ceiling. Eventually I'll get there. Stinking stamina. There we go. And as you can see, I can continue this. And now there's almost no way for this guy to get out. Now you want to open just one of the gates. That's all you need to open. Doesn't matter which one. I'm going to go to the side that I have my Ichthyon. And we're going to go ahead and aggro this guy into the trap. Pretty easy, actually, and I'll show you how to do that. Now, some of you are probably wondering why I'm wearing a scuba mask. It's actually good reason. If you take it off, I'll show you right now, it ruins your visibility. There's nothing you can do about it. And just notice how everything kind of goes black in the distance. Yeah, it kind of gets rid of a little bit of the outside stuff. But look how much farther you can see with a scuba mask on. Like, I didn't even know that pillar was there right beforehand. So... Let's go get us this uh, Moza. I mean, not the Moza, the Tusotenthus. And last time we saw him, he was over here. I'll go ahead and fast forward till he's close to the trap. There he is. You can see he's following us now. So the easiest way to do this is to pull him through the trap. He's got a huge aggro range on him. Now, the only negative that he has... Come on. Keep coming, big guy. There he goes. Uh, so the only negative that this method has with it is that you do not want to let your Ichthy get grabbed. Because if it does, there's nothing you can do. It's going to die. Now, this is a max level Ichthy, so it won't die. However, you just saw him try and grab me right there. So... Get nice and low so we can go into the trap here. Just don't let him grab the ichthy because that would be bad. <laughs> there he is right behind us here. We're going to go ahead, because I opened that gate over there, we're not going to mess around with anything. We're just going to go ahead and go give him a nice little circle here. There we go. See, he tries to grab you if you get too close. you got to get a nice little wide circle. He is running now. Lovely. Well, I'll bring him back in just a second here when he's decided that he's ready to attack again. Alright, so now that we have this thing inside the trap, notice that he's really bad at grabbing when he's in there. You'll see him moving around in there, so he is stuck. He cannot get out of this trap. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and leave our... this guy. See, now I want to show you how far this guy can reach. So this is why you want to be careful. So you have to do this in stacks of 50. So go ahead and grab yourself 50 pearls. And, as you can see, 50. Now, obviously I have cryopod. If you don't have a cryopod, it's not necessarily a huge thing. These turtles are incredibly tanky, so you don't really need to worry about that. And turtle. We're going to go ahead and whistle follow on this guy. Behavior. We want to turn him on to lowest. We also want to make sure that he is on passive. So, we want to get him caught down in here. So we're going to go ahead and swim right past this thing. We want him to pull this guy in. Now, see how he's got the turtle right there? I let him swing a couple of times. Put the black pearls in your slot, in your inventory. Then you have to go find his beak, which is right over here and put the black pearls in the inventory to tame. Now what you have to do is you have to be very careful. Leave your turtle on follow you because you don't want to just let him soak. Come on. All right, there we go. So now he's released it. You want your turtle to follow you again. And you want to wait about three minutes. Now once you've waited those three minutes, you'll be able to do that exact same thing again and you will have yourself a tamed squid.
Alright guys, so now that we are down, I'm going to show you the easy way to tame a two so tooth this. Make sure everything nearby is dead. Uh, I've killed all the Megalodons, all that kind of stuff. You need a Mosasaurus, as you see right now. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and let this two so tooth this, or whatever you want to call it, grab your Mosasaurus. Now when you do that, you're going to sit there for about a second or two. He's going to basically continue to hold on. You're going to swim to the outside. You'll see it right now. Grab on. Give it a second or two to hold on to it. And we're going to go ahead and swim way to the outside. Let him attack. And you want to charge in as quick as possible. Go for the beak. And you'll see that you fed him. Now, this process is actually pretty easy. You just keep doing that. Whistle the Mosasaurus until you actually tame this guy. Now, I will bring you back. Oh my goodness, I got a Megalodon chasing me, so that's fun. Can you stop, Megalodon? Thank you. Now, get back on the Mosasaurus, and you're just going to rinse and repeat that entire process. It's pretty easy. I don't even know where this Megalodon came from, which is frustrating. All right, I'll get you. Uh, I'll let you know when we get the second feeding of this thing. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try this again real quick. And if you can feed, cool. If you can't feed, cool too. You'll see him grab on. There it is. Let him hold on for that first little wave in the upper right corner. And then swim away. And we're going to go ahead and try and charge in for the second feeding. Not quite ready yet. So, you just keep repeating this process. Pretty easy. And we'll go ahead and fast forward through it. All right, guys, and as you can see, not very difficult. We just did that pretty easily, and this is just a low-level one, but not that hard to tame. Um, as you can see, the Mosasaurus makes it way easier because you just let him tank, go around the outside, go for the beak, which is right there, and you're good to go. It's the easy way. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys later. Teacher's Game 2.